Hello and welcome back to our political news of today. If this is your first time coming across this channel, you are highly welcome. Another angry youth hits the streets of Abuja, protesting and demanding for the recognition of the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakobo. The sad Professor Mahmoud Yakobo has to nullify the 2023 February election that was held and wrongfully declared Ahmed Bola of APC as the president-elect for that election. They said Ionek actually failed himself by not following the electoral guideline that they already had on ground for the process of this election. So they are hitting the street protesting that INEC chairman must resign and that the 2023 general election february 15 must be nullified and they're calling for new election all right beautiful people i remain your humble sister from another mother my name is still an excellency of the federal republic of my kingdom tequila the great so guys keep watching for all the details that will be coming from this you're going to watch the press conference that they held so do not forget to like this video comment and share to your friends if this is your first time coming across my channel hit that red subscription button and click on the notification bell for more of my political news coming your way. Keep watching for all the details. I will be right back. I next said they are going to use the BVS machine Correct. to upload results using the IRF. What happened? That did not happen. That criminally did not happen in fragrant disregard for the electoral law. The electoral law that was signed into law. INEC has no regard for that law. And it's guiding principles that guide the conduct of credible, fair elections. And we are here to tell the whole world that there were no glitches. Yes, Mahmoud Yakubu is a glitch on the INEC website. It wasn't a, it was a deliberate human error that was made possible by INEC corruptly headed by yes. Mahmoud Yakubu. Yes. Mahmoud Yakubu is a glitch on the Nigerian democracy. Yes. Yes. Mahmoud Yakubu is a glitch on our democracy. Yes. And we are here this morning as Nigerians. Yes. We are demanding for Mahmoud Yakubu to resign. Yes. Yes. Mahmoud Yakubu is a dishonorable man. Yes. Mahmoud Yakubu is what? A dishonorable man. Yes. Mahmoud Yakubu is a wicked man. Yes. And he should save himself. Whatever integrity he has left, Mahmoud Yakubu should save himself and resign honorably yes. from his position as the INEC chairman. Because Nigerians are here this morning. We may be few today. Right. But maybe by tomorrow will be more. Yes. Because the anger in the land is too much. The anger in the land is becoming too much. Because we went, we want people that will bring prosperity to our land. The poverty in the land, occasioned by the failed APC government, is too much. And even the only opportunity we will have. To elect credible leaders, that will be taken away from us. And it is sad. It is really, really sad. And we want to call on the judiciary. When we made complaints that INEC was not following guidelines in co collecting the elections, 
I next said we should go to court. Shamelessly. Mahmoud Yakubu said we should head to court. We are headed, uh, those, the parties involved are headed to the court. And we are here also to call on the Nigerian judiciary that they too should not become tools in the hands of corrupt politicians to subvert the will of the Nigerian people. Yes. It is being said that the worst democracy is better than the best military rule. We declare you. We don't want the military rule in this country. That is why we are saying our democracy needs to be saved. Yes. Because we are yes. seeing a repeat of what happened in 1983. Yes. When the MPN government won, every, it was a ruling party and it won every other election. And there was a coup d'etat. We don't want that to happen in Nigeria. Yes. That is why we are calling that our democracy needs to be saved from corrupt institutions like INEC. Mm. INEC is immersed in corruption, is immersed in incompetence, in conduct of elections. And we're calling on the, on the, on the chairman of INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, to resign. Yes. Yes. And I'm also saying that his professorship, his professorship should be reviewed. Because it's a disgrace even to the academia. Mahmoud Yakubu is a disgrace to the Nigerian academia. And we are saying that even his professorship should be reviewed because such a man must have gotten his professorship in a very fraudulent way. That is why we are here this morning. All right, beautiful people, you've heard all the guys said at the press conference that he just um, addressed the people so guys do not forget to like this video comment and share to your friends let's do all the remaining discussion at the comment section do not forget to hit that red subscription button and click on the notification bell if this is your first time coming across my video i'll see you in my next video Bye bye